slightly different version of the old classic, The Three Little Pigs. So here I've got for you The Three Horrid Pigs and The Big Friendly Wolf. Once upon a time, Mother Pig lived with her three horrid little pigs in a tiny house. The little pigs were very naughty and they drove their mother crazy. I've had enough of you pesky pigs, she told them. It's about time you moved out and found your own way in the world. So she packed their bags and sent them on their way. Go on, clear off. Stop pushing. The first horrid little pig came across a big pile of straw. This straw is perfect for me to build my house, he thought. But the little pig was lazy and he didn't make his straw house very strong at all. Luckily, a big friendly wolf, who just happened to be a builder, was passing by. Good grief, gasped the wolf. What a mess that house is. I'll go and see if I can help. That'll do. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? asked the wolf. Push off, shouted the pig. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin will I let a wolf in. Put one paw on my house and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll boot you out. I only wanted to help, said the wolf sadly as he went on his way. The second horrid little pig found a huge pile of twigs. These twigs will make a brilliant house for me, he thought. But the little pig was even lazier than his brother. So the house was a disaster. When the friendly wolf saw the terrible tangle of twigs, he thought, goodness me, that house is an accident waiting to happen. I'd better go and help. Little pig, little pig, may I come in, asked the wolf. Clear off shouted the rude little pig. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin will I let a wolf in. Put one paw on my house and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll throw you right out. I'm sorry, sighed the wolf. I only wanted to help. The third horrid little pig was so lazy he couldn't be bothered to build a house at all. So he found a nice, cosy chicken shed instead and moved in. The friendly wolf just happened to be passing. Oh my gosh, he thought, those poor chickens. I must go and speak to that pig. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? Shove off, shouted the pig rudely. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin will I let a wolf in. Put one paw in my house and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll... Hold it right there, said the wolf. This isn't your house. It's the chicken's house. Who cares, said the little pig. Now get lost, the lot of you. What a horrid little pig he was. So the kindly wolf invited all the chickens back to his house, which was built from bricks and was very strong indeed. Meanwhile, the house built by the first horrid little pig was being eaten up by a herd of hungry cows. The house built by the second horrid little pig... What do you think's happened to that house? Who would want some twigs? ...was being pulled apart by a flock of angry birds. And the third horrid little pig was being pecked by a cockerel and went wee 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 all the way back to his brothers which was just what the cockerel wanted. Now none of the pigs had a home but the wolf did and it looked very warm and cosy. This house would be perfect for us said the horrid little pigs. So they waited until dark then they climbed onto the roof and began to slide down the chimney. The wolf heard the horrid little pigs, so he got out a great big pot of boiling... Oh, what do you think it's going to be? Soup! You must...
must be hungry, said the wolf. He really was the sweetest, loveliest wolf ever. The friendly wolf let the pigs stay, and after a while they stopped being lazy, horrid little pigs, and learned how to build a proper house made of bricks. Which was big enough for everyone. And they all lived happily ever after. The